Over the last few days, there have been numerous reports that Disney are looking to sell Lucasfilm only 11 years after they purchased the company back in 2012. And further to that rumour, the creator of Star Wars himself, George Lucas, is interested in buying back the company that he started. So in this video, we break down exactly what the rumour is, where it came from, and why George Lucas would even want to buy back Star Wars in the first place. So this rumour gained traction last week, when two YouTubers, namely Doomcock and Cameron Pasha, reported that their source inside Disney had revealed that the Disney legal team were asked to draft a proposed sale of Lucasfilm, to find out how much money this would bring into Disney, and what a sale of Lucasfilm would do in terms of Disney's stock price. The leaker goes on to say that there's an early interested buyer who is not a big company, but in fact a wealthy individual, who could be George Lucas. So yes, the rumour is built on very shaky ground indeed, and numerous times in a the video, they say to take this report with more than a grain of salt. So I think there's a few steps to go through in analysing this rumour, before debating whether George Lucas by Max Star Wars is a possibility at all, or is it just a wishful fan theory? Like me, I imagine you view all news from YouTube rumour mill channels with a dose of scepticism when they say their source has told them so and so. My view is unless a YouTuber worked and still lives in Hollywood and has good connections in the business, then their sources are either Reddit posts or complete fabrications that verge into the fan theory side. So I would apply the latter to this rumour. Many Star Wars fans, myself included, would love nothing more than for George Lucas to buy back Disney, if only for the reason that Lucasfilm from its very start was created to work outside the Hollywood corporate structure. And for George Lucas to sell Lucasfilm to the Hollywood giant Disney and then buy it back, most likely at a cheaper price, would be a real badass moment. So I chalk this rumour down to the hopes and dreams of Star Wars fans, and not one rooted in fact or reality, due to the lack of any real details and no shred of evidence to back it up. Saying this, why is the rumour somewhat believable that in just over 10 years of Disney acquiring Lucasfilm, fans are already wanting to believe reports that George Lucas might be interested in buying it back. Well I think there's a few different reasons for this. Well the obvious reason is that most Star Wars fans are disappointed with the current trajectory of Star Wars as a whole, because of the shoddy sequel films and after an initial great start to the Star Wars Disney Plus shows with Mando Season 1 and 2, Kenobi and Mando Season 3 have left most hardcore and casual Star Wars fans ambivalent to the galaxy far far away. So there's certainly a well established dislike of Disney Star Wars that has been stirring for many years, making this rumour something that so many want to believe, whether it's true or not. On top of this, there's a poor financial result from Lucasfilm under Disney, with Lucasfilm properties such as Willow and Indiana Jones that are not only disappointing fans, but are also losing Disney a lot of money. Willow Season 1 received apathy from audiences and was cancelled after its initial season and has now been completely removed from Disney Plus as a tax write-off. So a waste of time and money there. And Indiana Jones and A Dial of Destiny, which is coming to theatres in a few weeks time, cost a reported $300 million to make, resulting in it being one of the most expensive movies of all time. Indiana Jones and A Dial of Destiny has been reviewed by critics at the Cannes Film Festival a few weeks back and has had its initial review ban uplifted, which resulted in a 54% score on Rotten Tomatoes from the critics. So that looks like another Lucasfilm franchise that Disney have completely mismanaged. When we look outside of Lucasfilm, Disney are having a lot of difficulties elsewhere too. The MCU is bringing in less money and in the case of Ant-Man Quantumania, sometimes the films are making a loss. To add to this, they have also recently fired the CEO Bob Chapek and rehired Bob Iger, the previous CEO, who was a man who tempted George Lucas into selling Lucasfilm to Disney in the first place. And in April this year, Iger fired 7,000 employees, with thousands more to follow. And with the news that Comcast will sell its remaining stake in Hulu to Disney for around $30 billion, the financial picture for Disney as a whole is a rather gloomy one. So the fans' desire for Lucasfilm to leave Disney's corporate clutches is established, and Disney being in financial trouble 
means that the potential for them to sell Lucasfilm is perhaps a possibility, as Lucasfilm has probably the most potential to bring in cash to the company compared to their theme parks or classic Disney IPs, which wouldn't be attractive to potential buyers. I mean, what are you going to do if you bought a Disney theme park? Just lease it back to Disney. Star Wars is separated just enough from the Disney Empire to make it a feasible possibility that it could be sold to bring in some cash for Disney. So now for argument's sake, let's say that Disney do want to sell Lucasfilm. What are the chances that George Lucas would even want to buy his old company back? So firstly, George Lucas has said many times that Star Wars is his baby and its movies and characters are like children to him. These are my kids. So all those Star Wars films. All the Star Wars films. They were your kids. Yeah, well they are right. You know, I, I love them, I created them. He built Star Wars from the ground up and is clearly not best pleased with how Disney have treated the characters he created. His relationship with Disney after they bought Star Wars from him was sour to say the least, with Bob Iger saying this in his memoir about how Lucas felt shortly after he sold Lucasfilm and how they completely ignored his story treatments for the sequel trilogy. George knew we weren't contractually bound to anything, but he thought that our buying the story treatments was a tacit promise that we'd follow them, and he was disappointed that his story was discarded. George felt betrayed, and while this whole process would never have been easy for him, we'd gotten off to an unnecessarily rocky start. So George Lucas from the very beginning was not happy with the route Disney took Star Wars down, and buying Lucasfilm back would mean that he could somewhat right the wrongs of the past and could steer the franchise he started back in the direction he wanted it to go. Lucas is 79 years old now and most likely considering the legacy that he leaves behind. And for the revolutionary anti-Hollywood director to buy Lucasfilm back from the Disney conglomerate while potentially making a profit from his sale over 10 years ago will be quite the historic move to cap off such an incredible filmmaking and business career. And now, the reasons why I believe it's highly unlikely that George Lucas will buy back Lucasfilm. He sold the company at around the time he welcomed his youngest daughter into the world. And with that child being around 10 years old by now, one would imagine that George still wants to focus on being a parent. Now he could buy Lucasfilm and then install a CEO who would carry on his vision and deal with the day-to-day -day stuff, and occasionally debrief Lucas on the important big picture ideas but Lucas himself said that he is very much a micromanager and would find it hard to step away from the day-to-day -day running of Star Wars. And he kind of did this already, as he appointed Kathleen Kennedy himself before selling to Disney, and look how that turned out. George and his wife Melanie Hobson are due to open the Lucas Museum of Narrative Art in 2025, and this project has taken almost a decade and around $2 billion to create, so it will probably be taking up a lot of George's time in the near future too. So he's most certainly a busy man, and perhaps too old to consider entering the world of Star Wars again. And finally, we have to look at whether Disney would even sell Star Wars, and moreover, whether they would sell it back to George Lucas. Now that surely would be a very public acceptance of failure, to sell the franchise back to the guy they bought it from only 10 years later. So from a PR viewpoint, selling back to George Lucas, even if they sold it for more than the $4 billion they paid in 2012, would be quite an embarrassing move for Disney. And how much would they sell Lucasfilm for? Well, who knows. On one hand, Lucasfilm will always be worth money to Disney or a potential investor, as Star Wars, and to a much lesser extent Indiana Jones, are some of the most recognisable IPs out there. But conversely, there hasn't been a Star Wars film for four years, and most likely, there will be a six to seven year gap from the rise of Skywalker to the next Star Wars movie. And there's certainly no guarantee that the next film will make a big profit. The fan excitement for Indiana Jones is all but gone, and Dial of Destiny could put the nail into the Indiana Jones franchise once and for all, leaving Star Wars as the only real moneymaker for Lucasfilm. And when we look at how Star Wars makes money, the merchandise is nowhere near as lucrative as it used to be. Just look at your local supermarket or toy shop and see all the discounted and almost unsellable at times Star Wars toys. 
Then look at the Star Wars Hotel, the Galactic Star Cruiser, which closed within two years of opening. So the cash cow that was Star Wars now seems to be running out of milk. And most definitely, the enthusiasm from fans is waning, if not completely gone. Also, Disney have incorporated Star Wars into some of their theme parks, so untangling Star Wars from the larger Disney world will be quite a tricky, long drawn out, and again, embarrassing process. So to summarise my thoughts on the rumour, have Disney asked their legal team to evaluate Lucasfilm and throw the feelers out there to see if anyone is interested in buying the company? Maybe. And is one of those buyers George Lucas? As a lifetime Star Wars fan, I would love nothing more than to say yes, but I highly, highly doubt it. So now, what do you believe? Is this rumour true? Are Disney looking to sell Star Wars? And if so, would George Lucas even want to buy his old company back? Let me know what you make of this rumour in your comments below. On the channel, I review all the best films and shows, with the Flash review coming out in a few days time, and Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny in a few weeks. I also do video essays and movie news like this one every week. And next up on the Star Wars front, I'm working on a video, The Entire Life of Ahsoka Tano, to prepare us for the Ahsoka show coming out in two months time. So if this video and any of that interests you, then please consider subscribing to Film Club, and liking and commenting on a video, as it really helps the channel to grow. Thank you, and see you again.